All right, second try. Uh, apparently there's a thing called microphone that you need to add so you can like hear what I'm saying. Um, so let's see if, if, if this is better. Uh, it's a bit of a shitty microphone, but I, ho I hope you will listen to this update. Um, so this is a small update on how things are going uh, with this indie studio that I have for myself. One man indie studio. Let's call it that. So right now um, I have um, the graphics design is yet to begin on the Terminator. Um, right now I'm still waiting for the graphics designer to do her part so I can get the stuff and populate all this, the stuff you have been backing on, on my Kickstarter. Um, but while I have been waiting, I have updated the, the rulebook so it doesn't look so bland. I personally don't have that skill set to use InDesign uh, to make something pretty. Um, so I have used my limited capabilities to make something in uh, Google Google Docs. So I have put some colors into it uh, and made it a bit more pretty, as you can see. Um, it's not much, but it's it makes it easier to stuff this, to to see the stuff that you need to pay attention to. Um, so I have updated the rule book, and I'm still waiting on the graphics designer to make her stuff for the for the Terminator. All right. While uh, I'm waiting, I have been working on the Universinator. Um, this is a bit of a um, we call it a working title because it has become more than just a tool to make universes, basically. Um, so the Universinator has become all my... My goal with the Universinator is to make something deeply thematic, uh, like thematic over function, like you see in the role-playing game, uh, the rulebook called Mark Ball, <clears throat> where uh, the, the layout of the book is kind of chaotic, and I want to bring some of that theme into this. Uh, so I'm aiming for this to hit the same theme as like the Alien, the first Alien movie. Um, but maybe not so horror-ish, but just like, uh, like the console, basically. Um, as you can see, I have something going on here with a console and some dialogue. Um, but basically, it's a small solo RPG that you can use to create universes and travel throughout a universe and find stuff and categorize it and draw it. Uh, so it's basically a drawing exercise. Um, and also, I want to mention that I have made this hex card supporter. Right now, uh, you won't get anything from supporting this. Uh, but hopefully in time I will be able to make more of these videos uh, like once a month. Uh, that is my goal with this. So you get a monthly update on how things are going uh, with this uh, project. All projects I have going. Um, so the Universinator. Uh, also I want to mention that I'm currently under education to become a, a computer science engineer or something like that. Um, so I'm working in C Sharp and honing my skills uh, with that. And I also want to bring those skill, uh, that skill set into making a console application for uh, the Universinator, uh, where it's basically all this you see here, uh, like this stuff you will get on a console application and you can like scan universes or scan solar systems or send out drones and stuff um, all in this console application and there won't be any graphics you have to imagine that yourself but it will be like the graphics on the monitors you see for example in the game alien isolation that is my goal but before that i want to finish this uh, so we have a pen and paper um, uh, that was not an exciting image. Let's, let me go down here. Um, before that, I want to finish this um, to have 
the pen and paper version of it finished so you can download it and try it for yourself. Right now it has been undergoing some playtest with the first part. Um, I have been adding the exploration part. Um, you can see here this is an old image. But basically when you explore planets uh, you will get um, stuff to do, stuff to draw. You, you can like interact with civilizations and so on. This will become a huge document. Um, but hopefully fun and not just huge. But that was it for, uh, for now. So let me know what you think in the comments or just like give me a thumbs up if this is something you like. Um, all right, see you next time.